view the test and take it four times and kind of have an idea of what to look for and expect. You got a lot um, of practices. I got a lot of practices. What's, What's up, up Gold Miners? I'm Maya. And I'm Zay. And welcome to our channel, Dots and Dynasty. Dynasty. All right, y'all. So in today's video, we're going to give you some tips that you can do when you're looking to get started within tech and course, course careers. Now, what you can first do is actually, if you don't have one already, start bamping your LinkedIn account to look more tech sales and friendly. Uh, you can do this by looking up fellow YouTubers and seeing how they're setup is for LinkedIn as far as the bio, having headshots or, or professional pictures um, to connect to people. Now, one of the things that Course Careers, they actually want us to do as uh, marketers for ourselves and to get out there into that tech industry is to connect with at least 100 people a week. Because I believe that if you have a regular LinkedIn account, you can't do over 100 a week. Uh, for connections. And when I say connections, I mean, say for instance, me, I'm trying to get into tech sales as a SDR. That's a sales development representative. I'm looking to get with a either tech recruiter or somebody that's inside of that industry that, I'm, that I wanna um, apply for. Now, that could be with the director of sales. It could be for team leads within that tech field and certain companies that I would like to work for. Um, other things that you can do is, like I said before, get those books, spin selling, fanatical prospecting, and how to win friends and influence people. Those books are going to help develop your mindset and give you a better outlook of what it is that your job description is going to be when interacting with different companies and the people within those companies. So for LinkedIn, is LinkedIn the only job search tool that you're going to be using to um, try to find a position in course, or not in course careers, but in tech? Well, it's primarily the main platform that tech people use okay. um, and industries because it's basically a corporate Facebook. So they don't ever mention anything about Indeed or Monster. I <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, they, they actually, yeah, they use okay. those too. Uh, okay. You have tech recruiters. Mm -hmm. um, they're the ones that are mostly putting those things out for Indeed and Monster and stuff like that. Okay. Um, and they just want to make sure that they are getting the proper candidate and, and going across each platform to blast that job title or description that they're looking for to fill. Okay. I know one reason why you decided to go with Course Careers is because of the fact that they have a internship, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I guess go more into that. All right, so at the end of completing the course, you actually can intern them with Course Careers and they'll pay you, I believe it's like $15 an hour. I mean, it's not life changing, but at least you get the experience. Oh, you automatically? While you, you don't automatically do it, but it's something that they do offer. Um, they recommend that, you know, there's two ways that you start after completing the course. Uh, course Careers, they have a bunch of people already that are looking for tech sales agents and or, or SDRs, should I say, um, in that field. And the, so Course Careers, they actually put you in contact already with companies that are looking to hire SDRs. And you can either do one or two routes. You can either go full time out the gate. Uh, usually their salaries are gonna be a little bit lower than someone that's put in the internship uh, in the long run that are only making 15 bucks an hour. But the benefit would be you are a full-time employee and you have benefits day one. Um, the internship, like I said, it's a different route, but for someone that has a family and bills to pay and all this stuff, me personally, that's not the route that I would take. Um, but if you have the time on your hands and the resources, I would say go for the internship. There's definitely the better route because in the long run a lot of the interns usually make about 15 to 20 thousand more than someone that just starts out as a full-time employee straight out of course careers mm, okay now would you say that it's because they are staying with the same company or does that work if they decide to go with a different company 
So like you're saying, like basically they're growing with the company because it started off, started off as an internship and continues like that. Yeah, so a lot of the times if you are an intern and you want to grow with that company, they're going to honor you because you decided to put your boots on the ground and lace them up real tight and go to war with them. <laughs> and um, they're going to look out for you by giving you the resources that you need to be the best SDR that you can be. So my next question would be, do you think that um, the tech industry is oversaturated? Or do you think that it's becoming oversaturated and it seems like everybody is like jumping on tech sales now? Or not just tech sales, but tech in general, because there are a lot of different um, careers in tech. So. Uh, me personally, I don't think that tech is becoming oversaturated just due to the fact that there are hundreds of thousands of companies that are small and big and there's different departments within those companies um, with job positions and roles. Um, it all depends on the role that you're looking for when you're start starting to get into tech. Um, like I said, the lowest barrier to entry would possibly be course careers. and. Um, one of the benefits of being with course careers is the people that are getting out of college and they've studied for four years tech is changing every day and those guys are linear when when it comes to learning about tech and there's a certain what do you call it um curriculum that they follow to get into tech but when it comes to course careers they constantly update their course to make sure that we are in and the best roles for success. So uh, within course careers, I know you talked about LinkedIn. Now, does course careers help you with your resume? Like, do you submit your resume to them and then they look at it and be like, yeah, it's good, or you need to change this, or how does that work? If they are helping you get, you know, into the tech industry, so. That part, uh, I don't think that they do, but they, I could be wrong. I, like I said in our previous video that they have discords that you can join and small groups um, that you can follow and they actually help you out along the way when it comes to the development of your intro to tech sales as well as they want to make sure that the course, the course itself, which is course careers, is uh, very notable and they look out for everyone because you're only as weak as your weakest link, right? All right, so, um, you know, that is going to conclude our video for today, y'all. If y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns that you are interested in knowing about, feel free to drop a comment in the, the boxes below, and we'll respond as quickly as we can and the best that we can. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video because it does help our YouTube algorithm. Uh, we do miss you guys, and we plan on being more and more and more and more and more. We say that every time. So we're not even gonna say nothing no more. We're just gonna drop videos. <laughs> just do it like that. All right, that's we just, fine. We're just dropping videos. But until we can, you know, actually commit to being uh, on an actual real schedule, but we do plan on trying to um, post more videos, especially now that um, you are at the end of your course because you've already taken your test, right? Mm -hmm. So, well, like you said, you've already taken your test three, four times. So, um, which, that's not normal, y'all. Like, yeah, that, that is <laughs> that's not, not normal. normal. <laughs> that's not normal. Um, because one of the things about course career too, I just want to say um, this, is that, on. yeah, y'all, uh, mm -hmm. like we said, that's not normal to take the test four times because you actually <laughs> only get a chance to take it twice. Yeah. But because of the technical difficulties, I was able to view the test and take it four times and kind of have an idea of what to look for and expect. You got a lot um, of practices. I got a lot of practices. And, oh, well, that's another thing I was going to say, because didn't you say that the higher that you score, the more likely that you're able to, what, get the internship? Or, like, how does... Oh, yeah. So, the higher that you score, the more likely that you're going to be able to receive a job with as a SDR with a company of your liking, with the salary that you're liking, just because of you're at the oh, top of the okay. food chain. I thought that was just for their internship program. No. So, but how would that work though? I don't get it. So is this a company, are these companies that are connected with course careers? Or are these yes. companies, 
Okay, but so, these companies are connected with course careers, but they aren't doing the internship program. It's just you're able to get get you're able yeah, to so, get a so, position right away. So Course Careers is actually a tech company itself uh, that have tech roles within it. Okay. Um, they, like I said, put you in position to meet with these companies that are looking for people that are hiring your role. Um, they partner with a bunch of different people. We're pretty much all in a pool and the higher your test scores are, the more likely it is that you will get hired by one of the top companies to offer you more pay that you're looking for as well as possibly a remote position and you don't have to waste gas or time <laughs> driving dealing with commuting and all that stuff with the baby, but yeah but yeah so i guess now we can go ahead and wrap it up because i think he's getting tired <laughs> so yeah um we appreciate y'all y'all have a good one and on. we'll see but yeah, so that's going to conclude our video for today, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be in a video too? He's discovering his voice. So yeah, y'all, just like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank y'all. Holla. We out. I do, because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby.